A renowned youthful and anti female genital mutilation crusader in Tana River County has vowed to economically empower and eliminate poverty among communities in the region. Sadia Sango Hussein, who was endorsed by elders and women leaders to contest for the Tana River County Woman Representative Post, vowed to accelerate the war on female genital mutilation and gender based violence as she promised to address the issue of climate. In a colorful ceremony held at Gafuru Primary School in Tana River, North Sub County, Sandia Sango Hussein, an anti FGM crusader, was endorsed by elders and women leaders to contest for the Tana River County Women Representative post in the August 9 polls. <laughs> Na, na, na mna gani tunaweza kuwezesha kila mtu awe kufaidisha um, Tana River kwa ujumla bila kuangalia kabila Sandia who is seeking to sit on a United Democratic Party ticket vowed to economically empower and eliminate poverty among communities in Tana River once selected tunachapa eh, vyombo vya mahabari kwa sababu ya eh, kwa sababu ya sijui ukame njaa ukisikia e, ngombe zimekufa zote utaona ni Tana River sasa hii wafugaji wamepoteza mifugo zao zote na kama wamama ungekuwa kwa na uwezo tungekuwa tumesonga mbele sana kimaendeleo Sandy received the presidential commendation award during the Mashujaa Day celebration last year in Mombasa for her NTFGM campaigns kura inapigwa na wamama wazee wanatuongezea tu mimi nasema kila mtu pale anakaa kama mtoto wako hana kura hakikisha amepata ame kura na tunashukuru na mmeanza mtindo ambaye ni mtindo mema na mmeanza njia ambaye ni njia bora na inshallah na sisi wanaume tutajitahidi tuunge mkono nyinyi na tutakuwa na nyinyi kusaidiana mambo yote during the ceremony elders and women leaders called on Tana River residents to shun tribal voting which they claimed has caused the county to lag behind in development and fight against corruption hakuna jambo njema katika eh, kujumuika kwa pamoja tuyasahau mambo ya ukabila tujenge taifa moja tujenge kaunti moja tujenge constituency moja tujenge wodi moja ben chumba lunchtime news